and it doesn't line up with the hole. So I'm trying to keep it straight. There she is, your keyboard. The Epo Maker, or Epo Maker, however you want to pronounce it. TH80. 75%. So earlier I tried to see how you actually take this thing apart. And I had quite the time. It was a predicament because like there's little clasps here. Like you can see them, there's four here. There's one there, 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 and there. And along the bottom, you just gotta wedge something in there and like push it to unclasp it. Okay, so these should come off now. There we go. It took a minute, but we got it off. This top frame. It's plastic little clips that like hook underneath the case. They're just a pain to deal with. But we got it off. I just got a little cable here for her battery. It's a wireless keyboard, but she's probably not gonna use it wirelessly. Let's go ahead and plug that. Got our plate with our PCB. I still got a little bit of space here in the bottom. I might put a bit more foam. Let me see. I have some foam that I might want to put in here. Just want to fill this fill this up with a little bit more so we can get some a bit more sound dampening. I've yet to use this exacto knife, but I've been told they've been really nice to have. If it doesn't fit, then I'm like, all right. We will not do the foam, extra foam. And I would have just wasted time. But that's fine. I just wanted to see if I can do it. I feel like the foam is too thick. All right, I don't think this is going to close. That's fine. We tried. There it is. Naked PCB. And the plate. And the foam. And the stabilizers. I might do a little bit with stabilizers, but um, we did test them out before when they came in, so they sound pretty decent on their own. I might see about maybe band-aid modding with either the shift key or the spacebar. But let's do this thing with the PCB I've been wanting to do. These little switch pads. So I will now do that. I do them for every spot. You can see that I started this one and had Audrey test it before. So I will start from the bottom and go up. Oh, um, for the plans this week. So I do need to build, I'm building another keyboard for another friend. But I don't know if I'm going to be doing it on either Tuesday or Thursday. I'm thinking maybe Thursday. And then, because I know we've been playing Plague Tale and I want to get more time on that. So I think maybe this keyboard stream and then on Tuesday we do Plague Tale and then another keyboard stream on Thursday. Then Sunday might just be another Plague Tale day. I don't know. I might do the keyboard stream on Sunday. Who knows? I'm just trying to figure out my schedule first. But for sure, my uh, keyboard YouTube video will be coming out this week. I'll be publishing it. And that will be my one video for the month. Stay, trying to stay true to my New Year's resolution. I'm going to fix you and then I'm going to start putting switches in. Wait, oh, no, I'm going to put tape mod on. Okay, I'm gonna clean up, clean up a little bit. Well, I didn't break anything yet, so that's a good sign. Okay, let's see how these stabilizers sound. 
Every time I look at switches, I just think of candy. Here are Audrey's keycaps. They're cute from Etsy. We're just going to try out the stabilizers, so we're going to see how they sound and if she likes them. Let's see what these sound like. I'm not sure about how I feel at the spacebar. <clears throat> how do we? Try, try these out. Tell me what you think of them. Okay. She likes all of them except for the spacebar. <laughs> so let's see if we can do something with this. Still quite a bit. Oh, but that's fine. All right, Audrey, try this. Better? We got the nod of approval. Yeah. All right, so then, the best part. Putting the switches on and the keycaps, then we're done. Okay, easy time. If I bend a pen, it's 10 push-ups, remember. figure that out okay let's put the keycaps on Andrea selected her key hat keycaps I'll start from the top left so we'll be putting on today as much as we can anyway this is the part I'm sure she's looking forward to the most she's got a good heft to her and that's what it'll look like. All completed. It's adorable. All right, now let's go to the typing test. And, well, let's go to a key switch site and see if I did okay. Keyboard tester. <laughs> the USB is bent downwards, which I need to bend back up. <laughs> so here's the issue we're dealing with. This is where the USB-C plugs in. But whenever I try to put the frame on, it goes like that. And it doesn't line up with the hole. So I'm trying to keep it straight. I see this little chip here too. So it still works. We just needed to keep it straight so we can close it. That's our last hurdle to do. So it goes like that, but then I put the upper case on and it folds downward like that. Oh, I got it. Please stay like that. One second, I just wanna, I know I got it back in, but I wanna make sure. Okay. 
Okay, okay. I got some troubleshooting to do on my end, but I'm gonna let you guys hear what this keyboard sounds like when I close it. And that's what it sounds like. And there's a bit more troubleshooting we need to do to make sure that it's all right. This is just so I have this on recording because I will be making a YouTube video of this, but let me, let me get it. So on stream Monday, I was very, <laughs> very upset by the end of the stream. If you go back and notice like all energy just left me and I was just, I, I did a quick sound test. I did, I pressed like five keys I'm like, yep, that's what it sounds like, and it ended the stream really quickly. <laughs> but there's a reason for that, because like when I was closing the case, I realized that there was a bad crunch, and I felt super bad because this is a build for Audrey, and then I was like, oh shit, did I just break it? So basically what happened was, here in the desk is Audrey's board, right? It's taken apart as you can see, but I also have in my hand Audrey's old board, which was crushed last stream session. And by crushed, I mean this thing. This fell off. The USB port. It came off the PCB when I was trying to close the case last time. I felt really bad. And I, it was just, I was just being too forceful with it. So this time we're being, it's a redemption arc and I will, we are getting a refund on this board because we still have it a grace period from when we got it. So we can return this broken board and Audrey will get recon, uh, get her money back. And we have this new board here. I'm going to finish it out. Be very, very careful about closing it. I don't want to break it. And then that'll be it. I already got a head start on it because I didn't want to spend too much time streaming today because it's not really my stream day. And so let's... I'm not going to put anything in right now. I just want to make sure that this thing can close. I'm actually going to put the top frame on. Okay, this is a true test. Last time we did this, it broke. So I, I want to keep an eye on this and make sure it doesn't bend. If it closes, we're good. Can't tell you how nervous I am right now. Oh wait. Maybe if I closed it. That looks better. <laughs> I was I was like, why isn't it closed? Before I put anything in, I just want to make sure will it turn on? Because I'm traumatized by that experience it turns on a good okay now i can put everything in now that i know that nothing's gonna be broken there she is again <laughs> but with a working usb c this time Time to actually test this. Well, actually, hold on. I need to actually put the screws in. Kind of important. Then we'll do it. We did it. Now we got to do the pen check. See how many I bent, if any. And I'll give you guys a little typing test. Any bets on how many pens I bent? Are we going to get away scot-free? Damn, look at that. Audrey's keyboard. She looking good. She feel good. All right. I'm gonna test how many of these work. Not all of them are gonna be here. But. We're looking for all green across the board, hopefully. 
Escape. Oh, they're red. F2, F3, F4, F5, F6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Bam, bam, bam. That row's good. I don't have an unpad. Oh. That row's good. What is this? Oh, okay, that's delete. All right, all right. We're looking good so far. Oh, oh no, T, <laughs> no. Okay, all right, T's now, T's bent. The T, the T. But these are easy fixes. You just gotta bend it back. I like a raised angle a little bit, so I'll do this. All right, I'm gonna do terrible at the typing test. And then I'm gonna move the mic so you guys can hear it. Up. Ah, one more, one more. Never mind. Hold on, hold on. I think that sounds pretty damn good. Yeah, we did it, gamers. We did it. We built Audrey a keyboard, and it actually works. Look at us. All right, how many push-ups do I got? I got 40 to do. All right, there it is. She's beautiful. She's so cute. For Audrey, thanks for letting me build your board again. <laughs> Sorry that I broke the first one, but you'll get your money back. So I'll give that to you. Oh yes, we gotta give you a cord too. Enjoy your new keyboard. And I will do my 40 push-ups and then we'll wrap up the stream. All right, that'll be it. Thanks guys for joining me for this redemption stream. It took, I thought it was gonna be shorter, but it turned out to be just standard stream time. I'll see you tomorrow for another keyboard build and send you off. Bye-bye.